Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about the Dr. Dennis Gross face mask. It is the Facewear Pro Mask LED. I have had this one already for like two months and I've been using it consistently every night, so I wanted to share my experience. It is an expensive skincare product, so I just wanted to share it because, I mean, a purchase like this is something that I would want to research before committing to it since it is not cheap. Anyway, I'm gonna show you the actual face mask. I keep it stored in its little pouch, but this is what it looks like. And I guess it could be slightly creepy, and Chris has made fun of me a couple times whenever I'm using it at night, but you know, anything for beauty, right? Anyway, this is the actual device. Here's where you can find the little light pieces where the actual LED light is coming out of. And it also has an adjustable strap so you can, you know, adjust it and so that it fits comfortably. This is a button and that's what you press in order to decide on, you know, the red, blue, or like a purple LED light. You literally just put this on. You press the button and then that's it. It also comes with a cable so you can charge it. And I just connect this to one of those, you know, Apple little blocks that go into the, the wall. The outlet. Apparently I can't even speak anymore. Anyway, mask, strap, charger. That's what it includes. Oh, and the little storage pouch. Okay, now onto the actual product and the reason why I bought it. So I was actually at Sephora when Dr. Dennis Gross, like the Dr. Dennis Gross was there and he was doing free skin checks. Like he was just literally looking at your skin, telling you what kind of skin you had, if you needed any products, anything like that. And so I was like, listen, it's free. It's the Dr. Dennis Gross, why not? So I got in line, it was super quick. He looked at my skin and he was like, you have rosacea, but it's not like acne type rosacea. It's more like, redness that comes up because of certain temperature changes or too much time spent in the sun so like in the heat things like that and so he was like one great thing is using an led mask that's really helpful beyond creams or anything like that because he was like it's not really a topical rosacea it's more like you're you're gonna have to get below the skin to actually treat your rosacea which side note I had already been getting LED treatments um, monthly with like my, my facial that I get every month. And so I was already familiar with the benefits of LED facials. Now, the reason why I consider this mask instead of just continuing to go to the facials is because in the long term, the facials are going to cost me more than this mask. And while I still go get facials, I haven't been really adding much of the LED light because it is an extra cost. And I already have this one every night, so why would I do that? So while this product is expensive, in the long run, I'm saving more money by having this product itself than going and every month getting an LED facial. Anyway, so he shared that with me. I decided to buy the product. Why not give it a shot? I had a 20% discount for Sephora, so might as well do it. And I had heard a lot about it on social media. Like I've seen it all over TikTok, not saying that TikTok is the most reputable place, but you know, a lot of people share a lot of really valuable things there. And so I had seen a lot of videos about this product and people raving about it. And I was like, well, if people are loving it, might as well give it a shot, you know, like it's been an overwhelming majority that have loved this product. According to the box, these are some of the benefits of the product. Smooths full face, fine lines and wrinkles, firm skin, reduces appearance of sunspots, age spots and discoloration, even skin tone and texture, clears mild to moderate acne, prevents acne flare-ups, calms redness and reduces inflammation, increases skin density. So for me personally, it has definitely been the calms redness and reduces inflammation. That's where I totally notice a, de a benefit. But it also has the option of blue light therapy. So red light therapy is meant to be for anti-aging. Blue light therapy is for acne. And then the purple one that I mentioned is the red and blue light therapy like combined. And that one is for anti-aging and acne. So I use it on the anti-aging setting, which I'm not particularly using it for the anti-aging purposes. It's really just to decrease some of that skin sensitivity and the red light therapy that's what it does but you can press it a second time for the blue light and then a third time for the red and blue light so one cool thing that you can see in the box is literally the lights and where they penetrate so the blue light is really just like the uppermost layer that's where it's going to treat the acne and then the red light goes a little bit deeper into the dermis you can also see some before and afters in the box so it definitely works i wouldn't say that this product does not work However, now I'm gonna get into my personal experience. Now, in terms of how I use this product, I actually, well, I use it at night and I've been cleansing with the Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta AHA BHA Daily Cleansing Gel. I've been using this one only at night. I still use my Summer Fridays one in the morning. And honestly, I mean, it's good. I haven't had any sensitivity issues to it. I don't think it's anything special. I don't notice a difference between my Summer Fridays cleanser and this one. They're both pretty good. But I've just been using this one at night because I got it when I bought the, the face mask. Once my face is washed and dried, 
I put this one on, I just press the button depending on what I need. Obviously I use the red light. There's also the blue light and then the blue and red light. I leave it on, it's for three minutes. It turns off automatically, so I don't even have to think about it. And then I proceed with the rest of my skincare routine, my nighttime skincare routine. Now, do I recommend this product? Do I think it is worth it? I think if you do not have acne, if you don't have rosacea slash deal with a lot of retinas and inflammation if you don't have fine lines and wrinkles that you're trying to get rid of or take care of because i think that maybe if you really need to get rid of them botox might be the answer anyway if you don't have any of those things do i think it is a product that you should purchase i think you can put your money elsewhere i also don't think it is a product that is essential by any means so i don't think that it is something that i would tell everybody oh this is a must-have for your skincare routine because i i don't think so maybe if you do have acne it you might see like better results and then it might be totally worth it. But just based on my experience, I think it's a good product. I don't think I've had any negative results with it or any issues with it whatsoever. I do think that it has helped with my rosacea. So I do think, like I said, if you do have retinas and inflammation, I do think it is worth it. But other than that, I wouldn't say, oh my gosh, this is an absolute game changer. Everybody needs to have this in their cabinet. If it was a lot cheaper, then maybe, yes, I do think it's something that more people should have. But just given the price point, I don't want to say it's something that's absolutely a must because I, I just don't think that it is. It's an expensive product, so it is something that is an investment and that you have to think about. But for me, skincare is definitely something that I invest in. And so that's why I wanted to try it because I really... It's not fun when you have rosacea flare-ups and like your skin is just super red and irritated and inflamed. And it also affects my self-esteem, I'm not going to lie. Like when my skin is having issues, I know that it happens to a lot people that that affects the way that they feel about themselves and i'm not immune to that so i do think that it has helped me in the sense that it has helped calm my rosacea and that in turn has also helped me feel more confident when i go outside in the middle of the summer humidity and all that stuff and i'm not worried about like oh my gosh is my skin super red do i look terrible right now what's going on with my skin that has helped but anyway do i think that those tiktoks of people saying you need to get this product this is absolutely amazing are they true maybe because a lot of people have mentioned that they do have acne so maybe in that sense like i said yes but i can't speak to that would i come out and make a video and say you need to get this product no i mean i'm clearly i'm making a video right now saying only get it if you can afford it and are willing to invest in splurge and skincare stuff but anyway to summarize it no cons to this product i have not had any issues no irritability no really no negative effects the pros I do feel like it has helped a lot with my rosacea, with my retinas and inflammation, definitely has been a plus. The TBDs, I don't know how much of a benefit it is for anti-aging. I know that that's supposed to be the whole point of red light, but I haven't particularly noticed a difference in my fine lines. It could be helping my skin not to age faster, but I would never know that honestly, because I mean, how could you know if a product is making your skin not age faster if you're not seeing the results of aging anyway? I don't know that part so honestly that's like an inconclusive type of thing i particularly don't struggle with acne so i can't speak to that part of it but from what i have heard it is pretty good for that those are all my points i have laid it out there for you to make a decision whether it is a product that you think is worth it or not i would say also always just go to an esthetician like a licensed esthetician that knows what they're doing and have your skin checked out and ask them what you need and what kind of products you need and you need and tools as well that you can add to your skincare routine and if that esthetician does say that you need some red light or blue light therapy also just give it a shot just do like a facial where you can have red or blue light or red and blue light therapy and see what happens and see how you feel and see how it reacts and then you know in the long term maybe it might be worth investing in something like this oh also one thing that i was forgetting to mention I have charged this and it honestly lasts me quite a while before I have to charge it again. So it's not something that you have to be charging constantly because honestly you can charge it and have many, many, many uses. I don't even know how many I've had since the last charge so I can't give it a number specifically. But I want to say at a minimum, you have like two weeks of uses every single night without a problem. And it only takes like two hours to charge, to fully charge and then that's it. You're good to go. Anyway, that is my experience with the Dr. Dennis Gross face mask. If you have any questions or if you have tried this product and you want to share your experience, I would love to hear that in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.